Hey everyone, it's Andy here. I'm uh, up a creek at the moment. I've already caught a couple of fish, so it should be a good episode. So let's do some more fishing, catch a few more fish. A couple of nice gutters just here. Let's fish down there. Yep, got him. I was just looking at the boat there, I think it's a flathead. Oh yep, it's a nice flathead. Very nice flathead. Okay, let's get the net. There we go. Gotcha. Actually, oh, that's huge. That is a monster. I'm going to let this one go. This is a very big breeding female. I didn't look that big in the water, but... Yeah, that's a big fish. All right, I'll let her go. Oh, look at that for a beautiful fish. Let's get a quick measurement. That's 26, 52, 73. I think that's right. Yeah, that sounds about right. So 73 centimeters. These are the big breeding females, which is why I don't want to. I don't want to kill them. So let's get her back in the water. Yeah, definitely a dusky blue tail. Hey, off you go, girl. Go on. There she goes. Yep, got him. Oh, what are you? Cod. There we go. Lift him in. He's undersized, little black spot cod. And, um, let's see if we can get him off real quick. There we go, little black spot cod. Off you go. There you go. I might change that lure now. It's um, definitely proved itself, but we'll just try something else. I like to mix it up sometimes. So I'm putting on another Sabil. It's a rat slur, 85 floating, and it's a really interesting shape and nice colour. Uh, before I, well, while I put this on, I'll show you. I, I use a loop knot. I'll put a granny knot in there first, in the leader. Go through the eye, go back through the granny knot, around the main line three times. One, two, three, and back into the granny. So, unless you um, put the granny knot in there first, this knot is very confusing. And that leaves a nice open loop for the lure to, to dart around. And um, I have high hopes for this one actually, and nice, nice set of hooks on that too. Thanks to John again, he sent me a bunch of these, so yeah. Mouth of a nice drain there. Let's see if anyone's home. Yep, got him. Oh, that's nice barra I think. No, big flathead again. Oh. I'll tell you what, there's a few of these things around. He, um, I call it for a barra because he, he hit it really hard. <sighs> Let's just try and lift this one in. Let's see how big it is. I might keep this one. But it is, yeah, it's still a big fish. Oh, it's actually bleeding a bit, so yeah, we'll take this one. I don't like to take the bleeding, the um, breeding females, but the sea has blood coming out, so I've hit its gills, and um, yeah, I mean there's plenty of these these big girls around, so I don't feel too guilty. As you can see, there's yeah, there's a lot of blood now, and um, yeah, I'm going to make the right call and, and keep it. Not sure if there's much point in bleeding this one, but I bleed most of my fish. I don't always show it on the video, and a few people have asked me. Oh, you, or if said, oh, you just threw that fish in the esky, but um, yeah, no, I usually usually bleed them. There's a little bit of blood coming out. So yeah, it just takes the blood out of the meat. Not a lot coming out actually. She, I don't think she would have survived. So I definitely don't feel guilty. Here's a nice little snaky drain.
Oh, got him. Yes. Mangrove Jack, I think. And another one following. Yes. Nice Mangrove Jack. Oh, no. It's a cod. Is there another cod following? Yep. It's two cods. <laughs> I just I thought I saw red there. Look at him. He's, he's still hanging around. He wants that other lure. I mean, he wants the lure. The other fish wants the other lure. Oh, but I knew that that drain just snakes all through here. I think there might be a couple more fish in there. So we'll let this guy go. And um, I don't think we'll catch the other cod that came out, but I'm, I'm sure there could be another another couple of fish in there. In a video, I think it was my last video actually. Um, I don't know what order I'm going to publish these in, but I caught a whole bunch of these and they were really quite, quite big fish. Um, I've never caught quite so many good sized black spot cod. Um, yeah, so check that out. It's um, episode 363. There we go. Okay. Just a little look at you, beautiful little fish, and off you go, oh, so I caught him over here, let's try a different corner, now working it up to the, the edge, and then just stopping it right there and just letting it float up really slowly, this is a, a really slow floating lure, so cast a little further than I need, Wind it to the edge, and then once I'm at the edge, just let it let it come up. And anything sitting in that, that dark little gutter should come up and grab it. So maybe that was the only two fish here, but I'll just do a couple more casts just to make sure. I think a lot of people don't fish a spot. Oh, there you go. Got him. Yes. <laughs> oh, I think that was the other one. I might have struck a little too hard because I was talking. Um, what I was saying, a lot of people don't um, don't fish good spots well enough. They they do two casts and then they they move on. Whereas you know I've done probably six six seven casts since since I caught that fish. And um, here he just came out in another go. So oh, this is a serious gutter here. I'll um, put some footage up from the air for you. You can have a look at it, hopefully, if I can drive the drone properly. Oh, there's a wolf there somewhere. Just heard one. I reckon we should be able to get a fish off this. Alright, let's fill it the flathead. I'm just going to do it in the boat. It's easier that way. Don't have to find anywhere on the beach to do it. I'm just going to cut down the backbone on both sides. When I get to the, the tail here, I'm just going to lift it up. And just do both sides at the same time and then just carefully get as much meat as I can off the bones here and over the ribs I just just skirt over the top of the ribs like that there you go a couple of nice big fillets let's go find a nice beach to have some food you know cook up that fish This looks like a good place to have some food. Got that fish. Yeah. Out of the wind. Nice little spot. Good water here. Yep. Go and make my fire up there. Okay. This is pretty easy. Just get off. And send Mr. Boat out to sea. See you, boat. There he goes, and not too far because I don't want to swim too far in case he drifts away, so we'll put him right there. There we go, and that's done. Uh, these are all my ingredients. And we should have a nice tasty lunch.
we've got a couple of rocks and here's another rock so I'm gonna do my three rock stove again that worked well last time make the fire there put the frying pan on here so to start the fire this time I've got a little bit of pandanus my lighter and I'm gonna light the pandanus and then light the rest of this with the pandanus which means the lighter doesn't get too hot and burn my fingers there we go yeah beautiful get a bit more wood burn it down and this recipe is extremely simple and quick and easy so I'm just gonna get a few more sticks I don't want big sticks because I just want to have a quick quick fire not super hot coals and this this stuff is really light and um, it'll burn quick and not be too hot for cooking so just um, I only just I only just use the wood that I need I don't I don't try and use more than I need so while the fire is burning down I've got my secret ingredient and it's lime and black pepper chips so I got a couple of rocks before and I've made sure that they um, they mesh really well so we get the chips there's only only a little bit left over it's um, what I had left over from munching on yesterday and we're gonna pound these to a fine dust now one of my fans suggested I do this with salt and vinegar chips but I didn't have any salt and vinegar chips so now that it's all pulverized you can see in there it's actually starting to stick together so that's that's actually pretty good we get our fish and um, I haven't taken the bones out of that but that's that's the flathead from this morning let's just throw it in there my um, my cooking is extremely basic but usually quite tasty and then we just shake it around like that try and get it all coated everywhere let's have a look at that yep that's pretty good yep I like that yep that's a good good amount of heat and just you know like no not too many coals just the right amount all right we get our pan my butter from home get a bit of butter and I brought a fork this time it's just a plastic dodgy fork but why not do, it, do different things at different times look at that there we go and the pan's got a, a light sizzle going on and I'll drop the fish there we go beautiful and the other piece in there as well yeah beautiful oh, oh that smells good I'm gonna turn that a little bit now hopefully it's not stuck let's see no oh that's beautiful yeah that's still good let's turn that without melting the fork how are we gonna do this there we go Oh, look at that. That looks delicious. Oh, another couple of minutes and that'll be done. So if you've watched this far, you obviously like my videos. And if you haven't subscribed, you really should. And the other thing is, I reply to every comment. Um, sometimes old comments, if you, if you comment on old comments, they, they don't come through. But every new comment on any video, I see that and I try my best to reply. And I'm pretty sure I'm doing about 99% at the moment, so... If you write a comment, it'll get to me. I probably shouldn't turn it again, but I just want to see what this other side looks like. Oh yeah, that's nice. Yep, beautiful. I think that's almost ready. Almost done. Oh, here's my entree. Do you want it? You want some? Look, look how tasty that is. I'm going to eat it first. Oh, wow. How do I describe that? It is the crunchiest crumb ever. Mm. There's a hint of pepper and lime. But yeah, really tasty flathead. I think I'm going to take the rest of that off. And... Um, that's going to be delicious. Here's a plate I prepared earlier. Actually, I didn't prepare it all. I just found it. Put a little rock under here. There we go. And let's um, lift that fish out. I think that one's done. 
Oh, there we go. Oh, how nice is that? Uh, let's see if we can get this one out without dropping it too. Oh, there we go. Nice firm fish. Doesn't fall apart when you lift it in a weird way. There you go. Look how nice that is. Look at that. Oh, glistening in the sun. And I know it's crunchy because I just had a bit. That is so nice. All right, time for my lunch. I'm gonna pretend I'm a little bit civilized and eat with a fork. Look how golden brown that is. Look at that. That is just amazing. Mmm. Oh, delicate white flesh. Have a look at that. Mmm. I think I'll be doing crusted fish more often. Mmm. Hot. That actually tastes like the best um, battered fish I've ever had. Like, you go to a fish shop and you get that, that tempura type batter. That's kind of what it's like. Wow. Hmm. So thanks to, the, thanks to the fan who suggested salt and vinegar chips. It's not, not exactly what you said, but put a, put a writer comment. Let me know who you are and I can say thank you. Thank you anyway, but um, I'm just going to keep eating this. This is oh, so delicious. Wow. Mm. Tell you what, there's no salt or spices need. Those chips, mm, perfect flavor. Wow. Mm -mm -mm. Mm, what a lovely day. Mm-hmm.